The vision of delighting consumers by delivering best-in-class quality and the focus on dialing up the big Q was the key propeller for us to look at opportunities and solutions to build quality into our DNA in manufacturing and to do that through a technologically superior system focused on quality control and not just assurance with quality ownership at the point of production and better deployment of human resources for core manufacturing with the right quality was the key driver behind Project Falcon. So what exactly is Project Falcon? Before that, let's first see how quality is managed today in HUL. Traditionally in HUL, quality inspection is carried out at two different levels post the completion of all the production processes. Aesthetics of the final product is checked on the line by LQC team and at the end of the line by the AOQL team. Let's go through the process used by the LQC operator by taking an example of a shampoo or conditioner sachet. 40 samples of a product from a line are taken for the quality check with 10 samples to be checked for weight deviations and the remaining 30 samples to be checked for CRQS defects such as print, leakages, coding, alignment, damage, delamination, etc. The LQC operator then records all the SKU details on the LQC assessment check sheet. He tears the weight of the empty sachet string. Then one sample at a time is placed on the weighing scale and the weight of each sample is noted. He checks the weight against a standard table for PCRO compliance to ensure it is falling within the maximum permissible range for minimum weight control. Any deviations found are circled. After all the 10 samples are checked, he calculates the average weight using a manual calculator and checks for PCRO compliance for average weight, at the same time noting down the minimum and maximum weight. With the weight check completed, the operator then checks the remaining 30 samples for CRQS defects, while noting the severity of the defects as red or amber on the check sheet. He has to go through the entire list of the defects mentioned, irrespective of the packaging format of the product. Firstly, he checks the printing quality and coding. Then, for any clean soil on the sachet, followed by any horizontal or vertical leakages, sachet perforation. And lastly, he checks for alignment issues to see if any white line is encountered or not. If any defects are found, he writes the number of defects under red or amber on the check sheet. This process has some key drawbacks. Manual recording and calculation of data which may lead to human errors or miscalculation. Over 53% of time is spent in sample collection and checking and calculation of the observations per person per shift. No accountability for operator and packer for online defects. There is a long communication chain that may finally lead to interpretation issues. Huge space consumption to store files, making data retrieval time-consuming and cumbersome. Project Falcon was initiated at Amli to redefine this traditional process by adapting to an advanced procedure that can be replicated across all HUL sites. The LQC team at Amli introduces handheld tool HHT which is a new PDA device equipped with a barcode scanner and an inbuilt camera for collecting and capturing data. In addition, it abides by the design philosophy of portability, compactness, easiness to use and reliability of data. The device consists of resistive touchscreen display guaranteeing easy to use interface. The HHT is linked to the weighing balance and the server through a Wi-Fi connection for data transfer. Application software is user-friendly and ensures real-time generation of reports. 
let us go through the proposed process of how the LQC operator will use the HHT. To check the weight of the product, the operator has to click on the weight icon on the HHT window screen. Select the line number. Scan the barcode which will automatically record the SKU details in the system. The shift details are recorded in the system on real-time basis as well. As the sample is checked for weight, the result gets recorded and checked against the pre-programmed database for PCRO compliance. In case of any deviation, overweight or underweight, instant message pops up on HHT screen. There is an inbuilt counter to keep track of 10 samples per line, per SKU also. The hourly weight readings are then recorded automatically and the report generated comprises of not only average, minimum or maximum weight but also graphical representation inclusive of process capability indices and standard deviation. To check the CRQS of the product, the operator has to click on the CRQS icon on the HHT screen and then scan the barcode Select the line number and sample quantity. He then checks for the six top machine generated CRQS defects. If any defect is found, he has to click on red or amber according to the defect severity. If a red defect is found, then a message will pop up saying hold. The beauty of the process is that for evidence or future reference, we can capture the photo of defect and the image gets recorded in the report. The following are the advantages of the proposed examination procedure. Facility for automatic scanning of SKU details using barcode scanner. Camera for capturing defects. Efficient and accurate calculations and reduction of non-value adding activities. Real-time logging and recording, making the whole procedure error-proof and ensuring authenticity. Elimination of storage space for records and reduction in data retrieval time. Driving accountability. Potential for manpower optimization. Project Falcon is an integrated and automated project aimed at leveraging technology for effective quality checking and data capturing. This has far-reaching positive implications, not just in the space of inspection, but also in building quality assurance. With the pilot run at Amli, we now have confidence that this solution has universal scope of replication across all HUL factories for not only LQC, but also AOQL operations.